Hello, my name is John Spear and I am the lead keeper of birds and terrestrial invertebrates here at your Toronto Zoo. Today we are here at the lovely Weston Ponds to talk about bird migration because May 11th is World Migratory Bird Day. Here at the ponds you can see we are bustling. We have all kinds of birds that have made the migration, some as far as South America down here to join us. Birds make an incredible journey every year, a lot of them to migrate to their breeding grounds. Now one bird in particular, the Arctic Tern, makes the longest trip of any bird. It's migrating from the Arctic down to the Antarctic every year. This is a trip of about 80,000 kilometers. And considering this bird can live 30 years, that's the equivalent of this bird traveling about a trip to the moon and back three separate times. Very incredible. Now here in Toronto, we have millions of birds that have made their way down here that you can see up to 350 different species that you can get out there to see. And they're making this trip with their incredible physiology, their bodies. These birds have to make sure that they're strong enough, gain enough weight for the trip. And then along this trip, they have to make sure they're able to find enough food along the way and avoid a lot of the threats like predators. Um, but not only the natural uh, threats that they face, they also have to deal with the human introduced threats. And one of the largest threats that a bird is going to face during migration is collisions with windows. You can imagine that here in the big city, different window panes they may be flying into. Fortunately, there are ways that we can help these birds though. There are different ways that we can treat our glass or even right now at this time of year, that we, the city of Toronto has a lights out program and that is a campaign to encourage people to turn off their lights during peak migration, which happens between April 1st to the end of May. And we wanna turn our lights off at nighttime. Any lights that we don't really need, close blinds, do things like that, because this can be very disorienting for birds. Birds are relying on stars and things to help them navigate for their migration. Having these unnatural light sources, which they haven't evolved to deal with, can be very disorienting and can cause them to collide with glass. And it may be surprising to know a lot of birds are migrating in the middle of the night. But another way that we can help birds is during the daytime. That is mainly when they're going to be hitting glass, not just because they can't see it, also because glass is very reflective. So it's gonna reflect objects, especially if there are trees and that around and they may try to fly through the glass. But again, there are things that we can do here. There are ways that we can make our glass uh, bird friendly. So I'd encourage you to look up bird friendly products. And what we're looking for, one of the best ones, are actually little dots that we can put on the glass. Now you want the dots to be spaced out about two inches apart. And you wanna make sure that it's on the uh, side that the birds would actually be hitting, not on the inside of the glass, but on the outside. Um, and you don't wanna use the, the large decals that you used to see a lot of, the large bird decals. These aren't very effective. They need to be about two inches apart so that the birds don't try to fly through that reflection. So on this World Migratory Bird Day, I encourage you all to get out there. Get out there and see the incredible biodiversity that you can see of a lot of the species that are nesting right here in the city. And I hope that you have a great World Migratory Bird Day.